Alright guys, um, I'm, in this video I'm just going to show you how to change the Windows 7 start up icon which is this button down here. Start up orb, sorry, the start orb. Just that. Um, to basically, yeah, to whatever. So anyway, this is probably the simplest one out there I've seen. Um, and I've seen a couple. Um, so what you want to do is go to the website in the description. This. And then just want to scroll down to basically the bottom and then click the little flashing arrow on the hard drive and click that now. Yeah, so once you download it, you do need WinRAR or WinZip to extract the file. Once you have extracted it to wherever you want to put it, I've put it in my documents. Um, for some reason, just keep doing it like that. Alright, I'll put it in this here. And then you'll get all these. Now, there's a little read document here, I recommend reading that just for your own safety. Um, now, what you're going to do, it comes with sample ones as well, so it comes with 10, so yeah, you do, you do get the smiley face one, as a few people might see down and go, wow, that looks awesome. Anyway, so now what you want to do is you just want to right click on this Windows 7 start button changer and click run as admin. Alright, so once you run as admin, this will come up. And you can run it as normal, you can just open it if you wish, but that's I, I think you have to be an administrator to do it. I don't know because I am an industry, so I can't actually test it without being yeah. So now to change, all you need to do is click here and navigate to the sample ones that it gives you. I've put, I've renamed this file start all to size, I've got other ones in there, but yeah, for now I'm just going to go ahead and select this one. So all you want to do is select the one you want, and if you notice they are bitmapped, so if you download and it's not a bitmap, it will not work. Um, yeah, so it will not work if it's not bitmap. But you can just convert it with some sort of thing, but the layout has to be like this as well. But I recommend just downloading rather than making, but you can search it. So to do this, all you want to do is double click. You um, explorer will restart, and you will have it right here. All right, you can see it's changed. And if you want to get it back to normal, you can just click restore original explorer back up, and then it'll go back to normal. Now, if you want to change it to someone else, instead of actually clicking this while you've already got one there, custom one, click restore and then do it. Just there are chances that it will freeze if you just do that, keep on doing it, and it's just a bit safe, very cool. So, um, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Saying if this was easy, if it's helped, or whatnot. So, thanks for watching.